So this is my review of the Sphero Mini. This little tiny mini ball is packed full of lots of educational opportunities to teach kids about coding, algorithms. They can learn block-based coding with this device. It's an awesome toy. You can set multiple of them together. Lots of fun, cool things you can do in the classroom. Really easy uh, to learn, even if you're just a beginner. Uh, so this is the Sphero, as you can see, is quite small, fits in the palm of my hand. Comes in this box, also about the size of my hand. So again, pretty lightweight, small device. And you just essentially open this guy up and then plugs in to a USB, which comes with it, charge them up, and then you'll be ready to go. So in order to have fun with Sphero, you need to use the Sphero Edu app. So there's the Sphero Edu app, which I've already pre-downloaded. I'm gonna go to it here, and then I'm going to connect my Sphero. So you can see it here, connect. Really easy to connect. You'll see it turn blue when it connects. Or sorry, it turns red actually, because I um, had set it to red previously. And so, in here, you're gonna see a whole bunch of really cool uh, programs and featured activities, all with lesson plans and tons of things that are available for your device. Um, I'm just gonna show you a few of the features. So I like to use magnetic tiles. These are just like your typical uh, plastic magnetic tiles to help with some of the maze activities, just because I think it just makes it easier for beginners to learn how to use Sphero because it kind of keeps the lip of the magnetic um, tile keeps it, the device from rolling too far out of range. Um, so first off, you can just use the Sphero just like a remote control car. So you use this to move it forward and backward. And this can also change the color. So let's set it back to blue there. Um, so I'm gonna just slow it down a little bit because it, it is actually quite tricky to drive, but we'll move it forward, move it across, move it forward again, and then we'll move it across this way. Okay, so that's just an easy way for kids to start having fun with Sphero. So we'll bring it back here. Now let's actually try coding it to move along this maze here. So we're gonna go into programs and we're gonna add a new program and we're going to do block-based coding. There's drawing, there's text, blocks, and we're gonna connect it to our Sphero Mini. And so here you're gonna see that our blocks are at the bottom here and there's different blocks that we can use. And this is a drag and drop program. So let's just try to make our Sphero go along this maze here. So we're going to roll. Uh, so we're gonna roll forward, which is zero degrees. And so that's correct. And we're gonna do it at, uh, let's do like, you know, I don't know, maybe a slow-ish speed let's say, 50 let's say, for one second, because I don't think it's gonna take very long for Spirit to get there. And then we're going to roll, now we wanna go left, so now we're gonna move this way to about 270, and again, we're not gonna to go too fast, and we're gonna do this, it's a little bit longer, so let's do it for two seconds. You can always adjust this after, depending on how it goes. That's debugging and coding. Then we're gonna go again, so now we're here, we wanna go forward, so we're gonna go at zero degrees. Again, let's go for that kind of medium speed. And this time it's a lot longer, so let's go for three seconds. And then finally, we're gonna go right, uh, and so we're gonna need to go like this, roll at a 90 degree angle. And we're gonna do this at, again, that sort of slowish speed for two seconds. And then afterwards, just for fun, let's get our Sphero to turn red, and then let's get it to speak something. So it's going to speak finished. I don't know if it does exclamation marks, so let's not put that. Okay, so now let's press start and see what happens with our Sphero.
finished. Woohoo! So our Spiro completed the maze, and like I said, this is why I like the magnetic tiles because then it doesn't have to be exactly accurate. But you can actually see here that um, Spiro gives you a graph of your algorithm, and it does show you in centimeters the distance. So you would be able to plan out a proper maze too if you uh, were if you had a ruler and could use uh, measurements for it. Uh, really loved Sphero, super easy to get started with block-based coding and definitely recommend this uh, coding robot for your classroom or for home.